I've never seen a man so skilled. I watched as he carefully positioned two parallel cement boards. Then, he placed a third one on top, forming a channel for the water to flow. With precise movements, he laid down two more tiles, seamlessly connecting the channel to the riverbank. It all seemed simple at first, but I only understood his true intention once I saw the finished project. This is what it means when they say, real experts live among the people. With the platform now in place, he brought in bricks, cement, and sand. He stacked the bricks methodically, using a staggered joint pattern to ensure stability. As the structure grew taller, it became clear that this wasn't just any ordinary wall. It was something much more intricate. In the middle, he left an opening, a massive window. At first, I didn't understand why, but this window would prove to be the key to the entire project. What was he building? As the wall reached above the riverbank, he coated the entire surface with cement, reinforcing its strength. With remarkable skill, he smoothed out the surface and carefully carved out gaps on either side of the window. Then, he moved on to the most crucial component. He cut a section of steel pipe and sealed both ends with iron plates, drilling a hole in each one. With precise welding, he inserted a steel rebar through the holes, forming a rotating axis. Then came the real craftsmanship. He cut out 368 iron plates, dividing them into groups of six. He welded them to the steel pipe, piece by piece, until a massive rotating fan blade took shape. This was the heart of his project. Now, it was time to put everything together. He mounted the fan blade onto a sturdy bracket, aligning it perfectly. Then he installed two generators on either side, connecting them to the fan with a strong belt. Suddenly, it all became clear. He was building a small hydroelectric power station. This wasn't just a personal project. This was for the entire village. Once everything was secured, he added an electric lift to the gate in the wall, ensuring smooth operation. The final step was to connect the long water pipe to an elbow embedded in the structure. With everything in place, it was time to test the system. The moment of truth arrived. He opened the gate, allowing water to rush through the channel, gaining speed as it poured over the fan blades. Instantly, the blades spun, powering the generators. Within seconds, the connected light strips flickered on, glowing brightly in the evening sky. The system worked. The villagers who had gathered to watch erupted in cheers. This man, with nothing more than skill and determination, had built a functioning hydroelectric power station by hand. He had given his community something priceless, electricity, a true craftsman, a true innovator. So, how would you rate his work?